Well, Larry, this little boy was 12 years old at the time of, of this crime. And all of us in the defense did not believe that he intentionally meant to hurt or to kill this little girl. I think even the jurors have said that, that they didn't think that he intended to kill her. This little boy was playing. He was wrestling with this little girl. We tried to show that to the uh, court, but the judge in this case prevented us from showing much of our evidence and some of the psychological mm -hmm. data and studies that show that children often mimic what they see in terms of uh, media violence. Everything he tells you and everything that you believe is that he did not intentionally mean to hurt this little girl. Fighters draw from several combat disciplines using a variety of striking and grappling technique. In terms of pure force, there's one devastating move that raises the bar and then obliterates it. The body slam. He allegedly tried to imitate could cause harm. He knew that it was entertainment. He knew that if you got thrown down on a concrete floor for real, you'd get hurt very badly. On Thursday, January 18th, after three days of testimony, the prosecution rested. The following Monday, defense attorney Jim Lewis began presenting his version of events. Lewis's strategy was to portray Lionel as an avid pro-wrestling fan. While imitating the fake violence of the V. Lewis said, the boy had unintentionally caused the injuries that resulted in Tiffany's death. However, during pre-trial hearings, the judge had denied most of Lewis's motions in support of this argument. But the judge did allow Lewis to show two brief television clips of professional wrestlers in action. Matched what Lionel said he had done to Tiffany in his living room. To demonstrate, Lewis called to the stand forensic pathologist Dr. John Maraccini. Maraccini testified that the wrestling moves Tate claimed to be imitating could have caused the injuries described in Tiffany's autopsy. However, on cross-examination, Maraccini admitted that the injuries were too severe to have been inflicted accidentally. That was very, very damaging because there you had a defense expert basically saying, yes, it wasn't an accident. Um, it could not have been an accident. So that was very, I think that really hurt the defense. On January 23rd, the defense called its final witness, Lionel Tate's mother, Kathleen Grosset Tate. The packed courtroom listened as Grosset Tate told the jury how she had discovered Tiffany's nearly lifeless body. He checked her pulse. Did yeah. she have one? No. So I grabbed the phone and um, I called 911 and I started doing CPR. What was your emotional situation at that time? <sighs> Probably in shock. Did, did you did you know what had caused Tiffany to stop breathing or to not have a pulse? No, I checked the pulse, and there was no pulse. An impact of a real story, a documentary on a situation that was difficult to handle when it came with court, age, reasoning, and motives. Tate was young when this happened, so decisions were hard to be made. The young boy also describes he was doing what he saw on television, but his motives were just plain, or were they? Some of the jury also depicts on the psychological measures, but can violence on television play a role psychologically? Media violence will get heavier because of the new ways television is being watched. For instance, think of 3D. But I also hope parents and children realize that violence is usually practiced through stunning video games or animations, blood and bruises are just makeup, and violence is not the key. Let's save the children, for they are our future.